Hello guys and thanks for, for joining this video. So, uh, the goal of this video is to demonstrate how to protect your applications against bots, robots and scrapping. On version 13 and 13.1, uh, we release brand new features to protect uh, against this, this kind of threat, the bots. To do so, I will demonstrate uh, three steps uh, to set in your big IP in order to protect as well. Uh, the, the browser, so the application, and the mobile application as well. So first of all, let's have a look on the, on the context, okay? So I have a DVWA VIP on this IP address. I have a, and I have a security DOS protection profile. So far, the profile is empty, so nothing is enabled, okay? So let's start with very simple test. Uh, let's do a curl. Okay, so a curl uh, is very simple to do. As you can see, the DVWA is answering to my curl. Okay, so I can scrape. I can get information from uh, from the server itself. Okay, so from the web application. If I try to use a, a, a G meter, I have a scenario here. Uh, my scenario is pretty simple. I will use an HTTP header manager in order to inject an XFF with fake IP addresses uh, from from many 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 uh, sources okay and I will use as well uh, a fake for fake a, a header user agent header in order to simulate browsers and bots okay so from legitimate browsers Mozilla Firefox and so on and some fake uh, bots like Google bots or Facebook bots or buying bots ping bots and so on okay so if we try to make a test with this one, we should get a 200 OK, okay as you can see, uh, in few milliseconds from the server because there is no protection. So if we have a look here in the pool, the WA statistics, we can see the packets increasing. Okay, so the packets, the requests are arriving to the backend server. It's not good, okay? I should not be able to play with a G-meter or with a curl. Okay, so let's clean it and let's start with the first layer of protection. I go to my profile and let's start bot signatures. Bot signature is pretty simple. It's just based on signatures, okay? So malicious embedding, one is very interesting, it's this one. Why? Because this one is using DNS, DNS uh, reverse, okay, reverse DNS in order to check if the search engine bot is a real one. To do so, we will make reverse DNS on a source IP address. So, if I tr if I try to mimic Google bot, Bing bot, I should not be able to reach a backend server because the big IP will check the IP address, and unfortunately. I don't choose the, the real one, okay? I don't choose an, a Google or a Microsoft IP address. So let's do it, let's update, and let's try again, okay? Okay, good. So let's go now to my curl, okay? Reset by peer, okay? So let's have a look on the logs, request, uh, which one is it? But signature detected, so this one, okay, at 9, at 7.45, it's a cure, okay, HTTP library is blocked, TCP reset, reset by peer, normal. If I move to this one, some of the packets should pass, normal, uh, the user agent is good, it's a Mozilla, okay, so the, the, the bot, bot profile, will just make a match between the user agent and the signatures. Mozilla is allowed. But on this one, as you can see, this one does, doesn't pass. Why? Because I use a fake Google bot uh, user agent. And I don't use a real real source IP address from Google. Okay? So this one, this one, this one, this one, this one, use fake source IP addresses. So the big IP blocks this request. Okay? So now if I have a look on my logs, you can see some legitimate one. 
this one, okay, if you remember, this one is a curve, okay? Legitimate request, this one. And unlegitimate, because I try, I try to mimic a search engine, or I try to mimic a search bot, and I don't type the right source IP address. So the big IP did the reverse DNS, and we didn't match, okay? So I'm blocked, TCP reset. So this is called bot signatures. Very simple to put in place, okay? You can do it, very simple. The next step is proactive bot defense. So let's enable it. I will enable it always and not on, only during attack. So always. So what that it means? It means now the big IP will challenge every request, every new connection, okay? So now, if I try again my my cure should be the same behavior, normal. If I go there, I have a look on the on the millisecond. If I go there, it should change. Why? Have a look. Because the big IP is answering with a 200 or KHTTP. Okay, that's why we see the green one, but it's not the DVW content, it's a JavaScript challenge, okay? So all these packets are challenged. These ones are the ones blocked by the signatures. So if I go there to the pool, uh, DVWA, statistics, I reset the stat. There is no connection at all, okay? So all everything here is blocked so now the g meter is not able anymore to reach the backend server the g meter is challenged by the big ip okay so if i refresh so far so good so now i'm protected against script against a library like curl uh, for my application so if i go back to my logs Press. we see exactly the same okay but for the previous one that were legitimate you can see no valid cookie challenge is possible but the big ip never get the challenge response okay so challenge but not legal okay like this one not legal still challenging so he's waiting for an answer Great, so now I need one more thing. Today, a lot of applications on premises or in a cloud are, are for fixed and mobile. And unfortunately, mobile application, native mobile application, are not able to answer to JavaScript. Okay, so, so far, customers, partners, disable the bot protection, so the proactive bot protection for mobile application based either on, on a header or a source IP address or, or, or on a VIP anyway. Now, with 13.1, we added a brand new feature called Mobile Bot Protection. So with the Mobile Bot Protection now, I can challenge Mobile Bot Application, native Mobile Bot Application. So if I have a native application published on Google Store our uh, Apple Store, I will be able to check if the application is trusted or not before reaching the backend server. So to do so, I have enabled Android only, so iOS is not enabled so far because I don't have iOS devices. So I allow any publisher, I could allow specific publisher with a certificate, and I allow rooted devices as well, okay, because my device is rooted. So, update. And let's start my Android machine. Okay, perfect. So this is my mobile application. Okay, so it's, it is set to join my, my VIP. So far, so good. The first things to do, I would like to disable first the mobile application uh, bot protection. Okay, just to check what is the behavior, okay? 
let's start it and try to send okay I sh I should be I should see uh, my DVD login page but unfortunately not because my mobile app is not able to answer to the proactive bot defense JavaScript if I have a look on my bot defense request I can see no valid cookie okay so I cannot go to the to the DVDWA, cannot connect to the DVDWA because I cannot challenge the JavaScript. So now let's enable back my mobile application protection. And let me explain you how it works. To make it work, it's pretty simple. I just have to use F5 SDK. Very simple, two lines to add in your mobile application. Just to make a call to the library and the function. And this function will just challenge with the big IP before making the first request. Okay, so that's why on this screen you can see init. In a real case, in real life, of course, the init is done natively by the application at start. But now I will make an init. So the init is a challenge between the mobile app, native mobile app, and the big IP itself, okay? So as you can see, there are many, many things, many challenges, and you can see some cookie are reserved, some secure token, and so on. And then now, if I try to make a request to the DVDWA, I pass. I'm trust, okay? My application is trusted. So, it's exactly what we need, okay? So now my DVW application is protected against all the bots because I use a proactive bot defense, so I challenge everything. And more, what more, I protect as well for the mobile apps. So the mobile apps can connect to the application and I don't have to do any bypassing. So if I go to my logs, I should see some new lines like this one with valid mobile application cookie and I can see it's a mobile application the name of the application it's an Android rooted device and it's not an emulator and I'm a human so the SDK is able to check if I am a human or not because I don't click every time on the same place okay my my cursor sometimes is here sometimes is here so this is a very brand new features and with these features on 13.1 you can protect your applications for mobile and non-mobile clients. Thanks for watching this video.